Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is possible by partition. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The question says, given a set of n people, we would like to split every person in two groups of any size. Each person may dislike some other people and they should not go into same group. Formally, if dislike I A B, it means it is not allowed to put people numbered A and B into the same group. Written true, if and only if it is possible to split everyone into two groups in this way. So let's move on to pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. You can take this question in such a way that we are given with n number of people and we need to assign them as a roommate and we just have only two rooms and we cannot keep two person who does not like each other in the same room if at the end we are able to assign them a room in which every person like each other we will return true else we will return false and the amazing thing here is we just have two rooms so we can say we have room 0 and room 1 and if we see 1 does not like 2 1 does not like 3 in the same way 2 does not like 1 and 3 does not like 1 and 2 does not like 4 so that means 1 and 3 cannot be in the same room 1 and 2 cannot be in the same room and 2 and 4 cannot be in the same room. And if I talk about a general scenario, you are assigned with this duty that you need to assign a group of people in two groups in such a way that in a single group, the person will recite who like each other. So what you will do? First of all, you will make a list of person who does not like each other. So we will also going to do the same thing. We will going to make a dictionary. I will take one. I will add two there. I will come to 2 and I know 2 does not like 1 so I will add 1 there then I will come to I have 1 1 does not like 3 so I will add 3 here and 3 does not like 1 so I will add 3 with value 1 I come to 2 2 does not like 4 so I will add 4 here I will come to 4 so I will add 4 with value 2 so now I have a kind of list in which I know that 1 does not like 2 and 3 2 does not like 1 and 4 3 does not like 1 and 4 does not like 2 and why I have taken dictionary because it's easy to look up so right now I have a list so what I can do I will ask one hey one could you please tell me with whom you don't want to live? Then he say that I can't live with 2 and I can't live with 3. So suppose 1 is in room 0. So I know that I cannot assign 2 and 3 in room 0. In the same way, I will ask 2. And 2 will ask and 2 will tell that I dislike 1 and 4. So I can't live with them. So we know we cannot keep 2 and 4 in the same room and 2 and 1 in the same room. And we know we have already assigned room 0 to 1 and we only have two rooms. So we have room 1 and room 2. So I have assigned room 0 to 1 and I have assigned room 1 to 2. That means all other elements who are coming, we, have, we need to add them to room 0 and 1. And if any time the person who does not like each other are in the same room or unable to get into room 0 or room 1, will simply return false or we can simply say that we are unable to form a group or unable to form room in which we can make people live who like each other so i come to three i ask three hey could you tell me with whom you don't want to live then he say i cannot live with one so we so we cannot assign room zero to three so only option we have is room two so the only option we have is room 1 I come to 4 I will check and I will ask 4 and he will tell that hey I cannot live with 2 
so to have room number one so the only option we have is room zero and after assigning these rooms i can simply check whether the person who dislike each other are in different room or not so i can check for one two and three so room of one is zero and room of two and three is one so okay we come to two we check for room of two is one and for room of one and four is zero so okay we come to three room of three is one and room of one is zero so okay room of four is zero and room of two is one so in this way we form these two rooms and we assign one and four to room zero and one and three to room one and we are able to form these groups so we will do it in true so how we can perform this so what i can do first of all i need to ask every single person and i need to check for their assigned values so i will take check so that i can ask one person and then i can ask for its value and then i ask for those and every time i will ask one and i will pop it from the check and then because we are also checking whether the values of whether two and three or the person who do not like each other or like each other in the same or the different room or not so we will also make a dictionary which is same in which either i will assign room zero or either i will assign one and we will perform these task using stack and same so what i will going to do i'll going to add one to my same dictionary one and i will assign room which is zero and i will assign room zero to one okay then i added one to my stack now we'll check for value of one in the dictionary or you can say i will ask one and i will get the person whom he does not like and one does not like two and three so i popped one and i asked whom do you don't like he said i don't like two and three then i will check whether one and two have the same room or not if they have the same room that means we are unable to form any group in which people who like each other lives so okay till the time we don't have a room for two so we added two our scene and we need to make sure that i assign two a different room than zero that means i have to assign him room number one and if zero add value one then i have to assign it zero and when we have to assign these values zero and one whenever we have to assign a opposite value the easiest way is i will take the value of one which is zero i will add one and i will take modulus of two so one modulus two is one so at assigned value one and suppose if it has been one so i have taken one i have added one to that and i have taken the modulus two modulus two is zero then i have assigned zero so we can use this formula to assign values so all right let me raise this so i assigned room number 1 to 2 and i have added and i have added 2 to my stack then i come to 3 again 1 and 3 should not be in the same room so i added 3 and i will assign a different room than 0 and the only option we have is one and how i got one using this and then i added three to my stack okay then i will pop and i will get three now i will check for the person three does not like and that is one and now i need to check whether three and one are in the different room or not if they are not in the different room then i will going to return false and 3 and 1 are in the different room so okay we move ahead i popped and i got 2 now i'll check for person 
2 does not like and the persons are 1 and 4 so I will check for the room of 2 and 1 2 and 1 are in different room then ok I will move ahead and I have already covered 1 so I don't have to add it to my stack I will only add something to my stack which I haven't covered or which is not in the scene so I come to 4 and I don't have 4 in the scene that means I will also add 4 to my stack and I will also add 4 to my scene dictionary so now I need to assign 4 a room in which we don't have 2 and 2 is in room 1 so I will assign a different value than 1 the option we have is 0 and I am using this ok now I will pop now I will pop 4 and 4 does not like 2 4 does not like 2 then I will compare the values of 4 and 2 in the scene or you can see the room of 4 and 2 in the scene and 4 and 2 have the different room ok so we have called all 4 persons and I have checked and among all 4 who does not like each other are in different rooms so at the end I will simply return true so this is the way I can solve this question so what I have to do first of all I will make a dictionary or you can make a list in which I know who does not like whom then I will come to every single person one by one and as I have only two options zero and one I will assign I will try to assign different room to person and if assigning suppose after assigning zero and one I got a time when two and three does not like each other and one and three also does not like each other that means I don't have room number two to assign to three because I have already covered 0 and 1 and 1 and 3 and 2 and 3 does not like each other and if I come to this point then I will return false because as I told we only have just two options from number 1 and 2 and we have a person who does not like 1 and 2 that means we will return false because there is no way I can fit 3 in any of the room because 3 also dislike 1 and 3 also dislike 2 so this is the way we can solve this question so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem at line number 10 I made a dictionary which is storing the person and the person he does not like at line number 22 I made a dictionary scene and I am taking a loop and if I is not in scene then I am assigning room number 0 or you can say initial value 0 to i in the scene and I'm adding i to my stack and then while my stack is not empty then I'm popping each element once then I'm checking their values in the upper dictionary then I'm taking a for loop in the values of a and if b is in scene and if they have the same room that means they hate each other and they're in the same room we will simply return false else if b is not in the scene then we will going to add b to the scene and i will assign the value opposite to b and i will append it to stack and then again i will pop it back and in the same way we will keep going on and at the end if i pass through all these steps i will simply return true so this was the code let's check whether it works or not so here i submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the solution for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.